welcome to Winnipeg. Welcome to foggy Winnipeg. <laughs> and pizza day, yes. Okay, uh, I think at the uh, end of last, yesterday's episode I said I was going to go down my workshop and work on the bike seat. Well, I did. And I did not video anything. Sorry about that for those of you who like workshop videos. Well, I just wanted to get this thing done. And what, what I found was a piece, of, a piece of plywood down in my workshop. It was pretty much exactly this size. But no, in fact, it was exactly this size, but not this shape, of course. And it, it, was, this, it was this long and this wide. And I, I, I took it and I set it down on my shop stool that I got down there. Not the one that has the, that's made out of metal, <clears throat> but the other one. And I sat on it and I thought, you know, my caboose is about this wide, <laughs> and I thought, why not try and make make something exactly the way I remember the seat on my dad's Harley Davidson motorcycle? I was going to say old Harley. Well, it would be an old Harley if it was in existence right now, and it could well be. Um, but at the time, it was fairly new. But it had this really big saddle, and. Uh, well, it was big enough that we could both ride on it. He'd, he'd sort of sit on the front part of it, and, and I'd sort of sit on the back. <laughs> yeah, that's how big that saddle was. And so, and I, but what I remember most about it was how comfortable it was compared to my bike. <laughs> and by the way, that motorcycle was the first motorcycle that I ever actually could say I actually drove. It, it wasn't... Uh, <clears throat> there was a, there was a smaller one that Dad had it the year before. It was a Triumph. I think it was a TR6 or something. It, it was the big Triumph, not not the Bonneville, but the one just down from that. For those of you who are motorcycle buffs, and uh, and I did sort of drive that in for, in first gear, but the old Harley I actually can remember shifting it up. You know, through I got I don't think I put it in fourth gear. But I remember going first, second, third. I can still feel the way the shift felt on the top of my toes when I shifted up. And, and that is a long time ago. <laughs> I was a huge kid back then. I think I mentioned that. I was really big. People thought I was a lot older than I was. I can remember I was, I was with a friend of mine and there was somebody across the back lane from his house who was selling a car. And, and I was 13 years old. And uh, the reason I know how old I was because I know where it was and how old I was then. Anyway, he was selling this car and and, uh, and I was I was looking at it and it was pretty pretty nice car. And uh, as best I remember it was a, a Mercury, a Ford Mercury, but it was the deluxe one, you know. I think it was a two-door with all the chrome and all that kind of stuff. So I was expressing interest in it, and he didn't realize that I was just a kid. And he and uh, he said, "Did you want it?" And, and I guess I was being way more interested in it than than I thought it, than I should have been. And he said, "Did you want to try it out?" Well, am I going to say no? <laughs> so I get in this car, and and I, I believe it or not, I could I could drive a car when I was thirteen. So, so I get in and I pull it out of the back lane. I get it on the front street and, and I went around the block. Well, when I go around the block, I happen to go right past my house. Well, as luck would have it, you might say, or Murphy's Law, depending on which way you want to look at it, uh, my mom was out in the backyard hanging out clothes on the clothesline. We didn't have a dryer back then. you got to remember, this is way back in the 50s. We didn't have a, a dryer, and she was hanging out the clothes, and so I rolled the window down and yelled out, Hi, Mom! <laughs> she freaked. <laughs> I heard about that when I got home. Anyway, I got the car back, and I remember he was, I remember he was concerned that I was, when I was backing it into his driveway, into like his parking spot in the back lane, he was concerned that I was going to maybe hit the post, because he kept saying something about, Watch the fence post, watch the fence post. Well, as it is, I did not hit the fence post. <laughs> but anyway, uh, how did we get onto that? <laughs> oh yeah, my dad's motorcycle seat. Anyway, I think the best way to uh, uh, show you what I've got in mind is maybe later on uh, we'll take the seat over to the bike 
and uh, I'll show you how I'm planning to fasten it down. Uh, and, and I'm going to be using, for, for padding, I'm going to use this stuff. This is, this is foam, but it's, it's not the kind of foam that crumbles. It, it's sort of, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's soft, and yet it's hard. It's, it's a firm, soft foam, if that makes any sense. And so I've got, I've got quite a bit of this, and I think that I can cover the whole thing and then sort of sculpt it. And then I've got some vinyl left over from some chairs that I recovered years ago. And uh, I, I think they'll have enough that I could actually have sort of a vinyl top on it. That's the plan. Let's get on with the model. I'm guessing about 20 minutes ago now. My uh, daughter phones me and she says, Happy Father's Day. And I'm thinking, it's Father's Day? <laughs> Sweetheart, it's Pizza Day. It's not Father's Day. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So all you, to all you fathers out there, <clears throat> I hope you're having a good Father's Day. Now, we got to put a little bit of a radius on our radar antenna thingy here. I think I'm going to use this dough right here. Okay, I think I'll uh, I'll bend that this, this little tab that's on the bottom here. I'll bend it afterwards. And uh, no, I almost always seem to hurt the ends of my fingers when I press down and roll on this thing. So uh, let me hold it with my other hand here. I'm trying to keep it square for the camera. Put that on there. Maybe if I use my, see, can I push push down with with this somehow so that I don't have to? Well, let's let's just first try it with my fingers here. I don't need to bend it very much. Oh, it's it's going, it's going, yeah. Now I think that's probably just about right. We, it, yeah, it, that, that's probably going to be pretty good. Okay, now we'll bend our little tab. Now I think it's supposed to bend in like this. Does it look like I've maybe I've got it too much take a little less of a bite on it there. Get it more on the end if I can. Put this at a at a right angle. Should I have been using Andy's photo etch bender for this maybe? Okay, there. I think I basically got it now. Yeah, I think that I think that's pretty good. Okay, I think we're through with this now, and we'll move this over just a little bit here. I don't know why. Probably because I want to put what I want to put right there. And that is this piece right here. Now, this part that I'm touching right now is the peg that gets glued into the specially uh, shaped slot in our uh, superstructure. Oh, for heaven's sake, stop poking at it. Okay, turn it towards the camera and leave it alone. Okay, so you can see there's a lot of detail on this. I don't want to lose that detail. Not that we're going to see it anyway. All right, now... This is the, the end that goes into the slot, but this is the end here where this tongue has to be mounted on. And if you get the light just right, you can sort of see that Trumpeter has got a little place there where that is supposed to go. Something, I don't know if I grab hold of it here now without it flipping one way or the other, but it's supposed to go something like this, I believe. So I think I think the best way to do this would be maybe lay it down on a piece of waxed paper 
because it pretty much, let me check the monitor. Uh, it's kind of right. Let me, I'm going to have to put on my extra strong uh, goggles here and, and just take a look. I can see a little better. Okay. You've heard me say many times, life is what happens while you're making other plans. And my other plans were to work more on this model today, but about half an hour or so ago, my oldest son phones me and wishes me a happy Father's Day and is going to come by later and have coffee with me this afternoon. So that's really nice, but surprise, surprise, my youngest son stops by and wishes me a happy Father's Day. I don't get to see him too much anymore. So uh, we talked for a while and he filled me in on his life and what, what have you. Here's, let me move in a little bit here. So I, I guess I guess the bottom line here is that I'm going to have to call today's episode uh, quits here pretty quick. Um, I was working on the sunrise, and I was going to try and dub that in, but I don't know if I have time anymore. You know, it wasn't really much of a sunrise. It was sort of, sort of a foggy experience. Okay, so what i got going here is a piece of waxed paper to try and... Uh, and uh, I can't talk and work at the same time. Wax paper in order to uh, do our uh, radar thing so that the CA glue won't stick to the plastic. This is plexiglass, by the way. Uh, okay, I think that's going to be good. I'm going to incorporate the holder downer somehow on this thing. Uh, let's not put it out until we actually need it because I'll probably accidentally lose it or squash it. Um, okay, uh, okay, what do we got here? Pizza day, eh? All right, I haven't forgotten. Maybe, maybe we should do that. Yeah, we'll talk about the cost of that pizza. My goodness, I figured it out last night. It just blew my mind. <laughs> okay. out of the microwave. Anyway, uh, where's my other glasses here? I was appalled when I realized how much I had spent to make this pizza. There's uh, $20.87 worth of chicken. Then the pork worked out to $6.81. And the pizza crusts where there's two of them, uh, they were five forty nine just for the, you know, the the crust. The the onions, uh, there was a bag of onions. It was around three dollars for the bag, and uh, there was approximately ten in there. So there was two onions. So I'm assuming sixty cents. The cheese seven eighty nine, and the pepper pepperoni was five ninety nine. That came to a total of forty seven dollars and seventy four cents. Now that works out to, if you divide that by eight, five dollars and ninety-seven cents per slice. So that's how much this cost in Canadian money. Okay, uh, yeah. Now there's, there's a, you, know, you think twenty dollars and eighty-seven cents. There is a lot of chicken down there. Okay. Now let's not waste a lot of time because I I don't have a whole lot of time today to waste. So uh, here we go. And this is the this is my first bite of it. So I can get it apart here. Lots of chicken. It really is good. 
Now, I'm actually surprised at how good it is. Well, I'm a little bit surprised. Anyway, let's get back to whatever we were doing here. Okay, I realize it's only 12.35, but I'm realizing that unless I want to be getting myself what I might call uptight, because I think I might not have time to finish everything up here, uh, I better cut today's episode off. Um, just let me move in just a little bit here. Okay, now here is the plan. All right, that didn't work. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to somehow rig up my holder downer here to hold this thing from sliding around. Then I will be able to position this into, into place from the back side, I guess you might say. Sort of like I was doing when I had the macro lens on. And uh, then I probably will use maybe CA CA extra thin quick setting. I'm not sure here, although that has a, such a bad wicking. That might not be a good idea. I'll, I'll think about it. Um, but that's going to have to wait until the next episode. And as far as this morning sunrise, which wasn't actually a sunrise, it was a fog rise. I just wanted to show you the fog. There was nothing special about it. You wouldn't have missed anything. Oh, and uh, our walkers did come and go. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're still doing their thing and it's nice to see. Now, um, what was I going to say here? Oh, as far as the bicycle seat goes, that's going to have to wait until tomorrow. Otherwise, I can't do a good job of showing you what it is I, I plan to do. And um, yeah, I've got other stuff that's going to be happening this afternoon and i got to sort of prepare for it. So, uh, thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we're going to see you tomorrow.